overseas now to the Middle East. Several U.S. personnel were injured in a rocket attack on an air base in Iraq. This comes as concerns grow in the region that Iran will retaliate against Israel. Our foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burge has the latest from Tel Aviv. Good morning to you, Tom. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, amid growing fears, this region is on the brink of a wider war. Two missiles striking that U.S. base in Iraq just days after the U.S. targeted Iranian-backed militants. And it comes as we wait for an anticipated Iranian strike on Israel. This morning, several U.S. personnel injured after a rocket attack in Iraq. Officials say two missiles launched at Al-Assad Air Base. It follows a U.S. strike near Baghdad last week, which targeted Iranian-backed militants who posed a threat to U.S. and coalition forces, according to U.S. officials. And as tensions in this region intensify, all eyes now on Iran as it vows revenge on Israel following the assassination of a top Hamas leader in the Iranian capital. President Biden huddling with his national security team in the Situation Room, briefed on efforts to defend Israel, with U.S. diplomacy working round the clock and urging restraint. All parties must refrain from escalation. All parties must take steps to ease tensions. Escalation is not in anyone's interests. Uh, it will only lead to more conflict, more violence, more insecurity. In anticipation of an Iranian attack, the Pentagon moving more military assets to the Middle East, including more destroyers Action. and an additional squadron of fighter jets. The U.S. asking Arab allies to rejoin a defensive coalition which downed hundreds of Iranian missiles and drones in April. But U.S. diplomats say they're facing a steeper hurdle this time, as many partners view Israel's actions last week as, quote, unnecessarily provocative. So very important that there's a quiet set of allies that Israel has that will help knock down any of the incoming cruise missiles, drones and missiles that uh, are shot uh, ballistically. And guys, back to that attack on a U.S. base in Iraq. The White House saying in the Situation Room, President Biden and his team discuss steps to defend U.S. forces in this region and respond to any attack in a manner and place of their choosing. George? It is a tense time. Okay, Tom, thanks.